comment we got about a couple days ago from one of our followers is, you don't need a buyer's agent anymore. Zillow and a good real estate lawyer associated with a title company um, because a real estate lawyer is massively cheaper than a buyer's agent. Okay, so uh, I believe I understand the context of the comment. Uh, so a real estate lawyer is much cheaper. So a real estate lawyer, I think they're talking about a title attorney, right, or a title company. Uh, and they perform a very limited, you know, what they do is they make sure that whatever title uh, that you're getting for a property that you purchase uh, is clear of defects, they're ensuring that, uh, they're doing the actual function, the paperwork of closing the deal. Um, so there, there is that. Um, quite frankly, outside of vetting the title company, and you know, because I've used multiple different title companies, and there's the ones that I prefer because I think they do a much better job. Uh, yeah, I mean, you, make sure you find a good title attorney, uh, and or not necessarily attorney, because here in the state of Florida, they don't have to be attorney. So let's be clear about that. Title company does not have to be attorney owned. Um, in my mind, I don't know why you would use a title company that isn't attorney owned, um, and they all charge various fees. Um, I will say that uh, in my uh, in my experience, because there, I've had people before that have come in and they've had already something set up and say, hey, just go to the title attorney, get them to close it. Um, and it, yeah, that's, you know, um, so really what we're talking about is Zillow replacing a buyer's agent. Um, listen, a couple of things about Zillow. Zillow's a, Zillow's a company. Zillow's a business that, and their business model is to sell your information to buyer's agents, by the way. That's their whole business model. Uh, they may have to change that. We'll see. Uh, Zillow as a company performs, um, However, they performed. They lost like a billion dollars doing their iBuyer program and almost lost the whole company. They had to shut that down. So, um, but I guess you could also substitute realtor.com or you know, homes.com or whoever you want into there. So, can you find a home uh, by yourself on Zillow? Yeah, absolutely you can. Uh, and if you feel confident about the process of uh, uh, doing that and setting up uh, appointments with uh, other realtors because they're still going to be seller's agents um, and you feel confident about um, your ability that you're going to find all the homes that might work for you you're going to be able to find all the programs uh, you know different lenders and things we've been talking about in these other videos um, you're going to be confident enough to negotiate your own contract with the seller's agent uh, and there is some you know some chatter out there saying oh seller's agents will take care of the buyers yeah, well, we'll see how that works out. Unfortunately, in every business, there's uh, people that, you know, act one way and people that act the other way. So I guess it really depends on the agent you get in that case. Um, as far as uh, that, you know, if you know uh, an inspection company and you feel confident uh, getting an inspection company in to look at, uh, you know, whatever needs to be looked at and all the other processes. And I, I mean, I guess I could go through the, the list of uh, things that a buyer's agent does that Zillow won't do. Uh, then by all means, um, you know, you don't have to have a realtor to sell your house. FISBO, there's a reason we have for sale by owners. Uh, if you feel confident enough to sell your own home and you think you're going to get the same result or better, then, you, then yes, please, by all means. It's the same as people that work on their own cars. If you feel confident you can change your oil and you're willing to take the time to change your own oil rather than pay somebody to do it, then why wouldn't you do it? I, you know, I don't understand that concept either. Um, so do we need buyer's agents? No. If you feel confident enough to buy your own house, no, of course not. Just like selling your own house. You don't need a selling agent. Um, do I think that in, well, I don't know, 90% of the cases, it's probably a pretty good idea to have a buyer's agent? Yes. Do I think that in, uh, I don't know, around 90% of the cases, you're probably going to do better with a buyer's agent? Yeah, absolutely. Now make sure you pick a competent buyer's agent. If you go pick some you know, idiot off the street, then yeah, it might not be all that helpful, but uh, that's, you know, again, in any business, make sure, you know, like if you're gonna go get, you know, heart surgery done, I'm pretty sure you're gonna vet your heart surgeon. Do the same thing with your realtor. Um, so do we need, that was a question, right? Do we, we don't need, no, they said we don't need, but no, we don't. You, you never did. You didn't need a selling agent either. Uh, so I think it's a good idea to get one, yes, I do. Um, so there's my answer to that question. And. Uh, I would say at least don't do Zillow. Do like Realtor.com or maybe Homes.com because Zillow would be the one that I would have kind of go, eh, I don't know. That's my answer.
Hey guys, thank you for tuning in to Living in South Florida Does Not Suck. Please do subscribe with the notification bell on. If you liked today's guest, you can also get more information about them right here. Like magic, it will appear. Uh, anyways, we love having you here. We love having your friends here. Shout it out from the rooftops. Like us on Facebook. Share it with your friends. We'll see you soon here in beautiful, sunny South Florida.